what most of us try. Replace the camera, run fresh cable, but none of it fixed the root cause. So this is the outdoor gigabit PoE search protector. It's Hi Tech Enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling. So last month, one of our logistic clients called in a panic. A storm rolled through overnight, and by morning, several pole-mounted cameras were dark. No live video feed, no recorded footage of the busiest shift. So the crew assumed the camera had failed, but the camera weren't the real problem. The problem was search energy riding through the metal pole and ethernet line like an elevator. And during storms, nearby lightning and switching event dumped fast. So poles, long outdoor cables, metal mounts, they all can become highways for searches. And let's unpack two kinds of damage. There's the obvious kind, fried electronic, and there's the invisible kind, tiny hits that don't kill the camera today, but weaken the network port and the sensor over time. So weeks later, that camera start losing frames or dropping offline when it rains. So invisible damage is the common story of, I replaced the camera and it still failed. Every failure causes more than parts. Our client had to run a lift to reach head, dispatch a crew, and spend six hours per unit. They have to climb, remove, rewire, and test, and ran about $300 to $600 per incident. And worse, they lost up to 24 hours of footage while the cameras were down. And that's a day of blind spots. No slip and fall verification, no thief investigation, and no operational visibility. So our client tried what most of us try, replace the camera, run fresh cable, but none of it fixed the root cause because the search didn't care how new the gear was, it only needed a path. So the real fix is simple and boring in the best way. Add search protection at the pole so you can stop energy where it tries to enter and where it tries to exit. So this is the outdoor gigabit PoE search protector. It's made for outdoor PoE devices like IP cameras with gigabit throughput so it won't bottleneck video. And it's built in a rugged stainless steel enclosure with IP67 rating to ride out rain and dust. It's designed to clamp fast and divert search energy away from the camera electronics. And one thing we like about the outdoor search protector is how clean it keeps the pole. It has a special DIN rail mounting tool, one piece, no big weather enclosure, fewer junction, and it supports straightforward mounting so you don't end up with a bird nest up top. And that tidy install also reduces water increase points and future service time. And the installation is easy, let's do it. The installation is easy. We can mount the search protector on the DIN reel near the camera on the pole. The closer is better. And think of the device as a security guard at the door. The inside faces the search, which will be our 100 meters Ethernet cable today. And the outside faces the camera. So first let's connect our inside. This is IP67 rated, but make sure you do it right. Put the cable through our gland, then use the rubber rub around the cable. Now we can push it in. So make sure nothing can get in. Now pull the neck and we can tighten it. Now when you do the installation, make sure you use a wrench to fasten the neck and the gland tightly. Then we can plug our 100 meters Ethernet cable to the inside. And then let's tighten it. And for the outside, we're using a short patch cord. I took out the rubber so we can do it faster. All right, let's mount it back on the DIN reel. And now we can use the short patch cord to connect the outside to our PDZ camera. 
and grounding is not optional. We can bound the protector to a proper ground, either a dedicated ground lead tied to your site's grounding system or verified grounded pole. Without a good ground path, a protector can do the job. And this surge protector has gigabit speed, means your 4K or AI stream stays smooth. And PUE compatibility means it protects both power and data on the same line. And the IP67 body and stainless hardware means it can live on a pole without a bunky weather box. So that's what stops the spikes before it gets to the camera port. So let's follow up our 100 meters Ethernet cable and coming to our building side. So what do we have here? And here's what most people miss. Searches don't only come from the sky down the pole, they can also reflect or enter from the building side through the network core, the network video recorder, and the utility events. So that's why we need to protect both ends of the run. And at the head end in the control room, we're using an indoor multi-port protector. So this 8-port gigabit unit protects the switch and NVR from multiple camera lines at once. It's designed for low insertion loss, so your length stays stable, and it reacts quickly at a low clamping voltage to shield sensitive Ethernet and PoE circuits. So you can put this at the building side where your camera cables land. It's your second guard at the second door. So let's continue. So we're connecting our 100 meters Ethernet cable to the inside of our indoor switch protector. We have a port, let's use port number 5. And make sure you ground it properly. And for the outside, we have to match the port. So I'm going to use another Ethernet cable, connect to number 5 outside. So now we matched the port and I'm going to use this short patch cord to connect with our PUE switch at the main control room, sending both power and data. Then I'm going to use another short patch cord to connect with our network video recorder so we can display video footage. Now our power and data is sending to our indoor search protector through the 100 meters Ethernet cable and to our outdoor search protector and to our PDZ camera. It's all protected and safe. So last but not least, let's give out some tips for today. Tip number one, mind the post mount's grounding path. Searches often travel through the metal hardware, not just the cable. And tip number two, cheap protectors don't mean real protection. So you need to look for gigabit throughput, PoE compatibility, fast response, a clear low clamping level, and a realistic search rating with proper grounding. And tip number three, if your site is harsh, big temperature swings, frequent storms, electrical noise, you should consider a hardened grade switch at the head end. Protection plus robust switching equals longevity. So our client hasn't lost a camera since we added surge protection at both ends. Storms happen, spikes happen, what doesn't have to happen is surprise downtime and blind spots. If you've got cameras on poles outdoor, make surge protection part of the design, not an afterthought. Thank you very much for joining us. If you want a deeper dive on grounding and layout, feel free to drop a comment below. Protect your uptime and I'll see you in our next video.